here is my garden. Since I've been living here in Tampa Bay, you know, I've gone back to one of my old hobbies and I guess you could say old passions overall of gardening. I've been doing landscaping and gardening since I was <laughs> age 9. So I'm 25 now, so it's been a minute. So, I mean, I know it doesn't look like a whole bunch now. I mean, aesthetically, it's not the most prospering thing. But, I mean, you know, look, I mean, just look at this. You know, I, I'm proud to say I've done this all with my own bare hands. So, I mean, I know this looks like a whole bunch of vines right here. I need to dig those up in a bit. This is actually all potatoes. Like, nothing but potatoes. Nothing but potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how they really look, you know, once they're growing and, you know, forming new spuds, that type of thing. Let's see if we can get a little closer. That is my collard green plant right here. And I'm just going to take the camera off the stand so you can see it a bit better. Um, here is my sage plant right here my peppermint this is let me get a little closer because of the hot lighting right now it, you can't see quite how lush it is but this is time and let me just go closer to my basil plant now, this is kind of my pride and joy right here yep yeah, I mean it's funny too. I went with bouts where I thought it was gonna die, but it ended up springing back. And here, here is it's a plant called California Sunrise. Now you should have seen it just a few days ago, like it was full of leaves. Now part of the life cycle of this plant is that it pretty much the leaves will just shed off, and they act as I guess seeds, so to speak. So this will turn into new plants. As a matter of fact, I think is this one right here. I'm not sure if you can see this right here, but but yeah. And of course, I got my aloe plants. These are actually like little pups from a family member's plant, and I've just been nursing those and uh, you know bigger plants. So there you have it I mean one of the reasons I wanted to show you this is just to kind of get a peek into <laughs> how I live this just how I live <laughs> and I mean you should also go into gardening too I mean if you want a hobby that's you know very physically engaging and you know rewarding and hey you, what's more rewarding than growing your own food um, then hey try it out I mean especially if you're like me and you know, you have a condition where, you know, the more sunlight, the better. I mean, this is definitely an excuse to get outside and garden. And I mean, you know, even if you don't have, if you weren't lucky like I was to get an apartment with like a little patch of dirt right there. I mean, you see, I got my other stuff in pots. I mean, most landlords, they'll allow you to have stuff in pots, like outside. As long as you're not, you know, disturbing other folks. So, there you have it. That's my little garden of love. Have a nice one, guys.